back to Numbers Nation, you guys. So, let me show you. I don't know if you can see it. It's in there somewhere. Monarch butterfly. They found it and put some milkweed, some aspen in there. And hopefully it's going to cocoon. No, that's dark. And turn into the butterfly. Well, actually, that's not the butterfly. That's, yeah. So, we'll see how it goes. But if you've ever raised one of these things, man, they poop a lot. But they eat a lot, too. But fortunately, we have a lot of milkweed around here, so. We will see how it goes. But he was going to get probably murdered in all that construction that's out there. So, we figured, why not uh, see what we can do? We have a lot of milkweed. And the kids like to see it grow, so that is what we're doing. Also, one, two, three, work, work and home, and the new one, my new laptop. It is a Dell, um, I like it, and it's fast, and I can do work from that one faster than that one so it's really helpful but that's what's happened in the last two days why are my truck keys down here i have no idea anyway so yes got the new computer we're raising a butterfly and it just got really dark so let's go see what else is going on found them Nothing. Ah! Oh. <laughs> All right, let's turn this around and watch what they're doing. Ooh, what? Well, you missed the jump. Comes Matt with a two-ton bike and no brakes. Too much speed. Just waiting for him to break the bird feeder. Are you going? Why? Because I got hurt. Yes, you did. I did too. You jumped? Huh? You jumped? No, I hurt my arm. Oh. I don't my Gotcha. That, you guys, is making me angry. That motor. This is making me angry. Oh, the seatbelts? Well, it's the law. They no, gotta wear a seatbelt. What's wrong with the doors? Well, you have too many. I think you have too many people. There's only two people. Oh, oh here she goes. She's going to make the jump. Wow. No jump. That was funny. All right, let's go take a look and see what they did over here. All right, let's, I'm distracted by that. That is from a mole. Let's just step on it and see if it comes back. All right, what did they do over here? Well, it rained last night and there's lots of water. Not sure what the blue and the green are. Or exactly what all these orange ones are. But, just as an FYI, I am on my property line. And we run about right through there. Actually, it's back. About right there. So we have all this area. This is where I keep the trailer while I'm going to. And like I said, we have... Plenty of milkweed. In fact, I'm. Nope, I don't see any on that one or that one. But anyway, all right. Back to this. They dug all this out from in there. And now. Oh, brother. This is someone's house. Or going to be somebody's house. And I'm glad my kids left their t-ball bats out here. Oy, oy, oy. 
All right. And you can see down there they're building another one. Then all of those are going to go into our drainage easement in the back of the yard and drain into that pond. We are not that excited about it. However, it should give us the easement that wasn't on the plans on this side of the house all of that back. I don't know what kind of hole they're digging, but some kind of hole. So yeah, these people are going to get to enjoy the deer that walk down there. And I have no idea when this one's being built, but they did say probably by the end of July, this whole road will be in. But I think they have to fix this drainage problem yet. Because, yep, it does not seem to be draining. Or they just need to get rid of those rocks. But the house that I am on, or the the plot that I'm on faces that way, faces north. That corner lot's gonna face west. So this guy's got a pretty good lot, whoever buys it. But then all of this stays. So we get a good buffer. Oh, Matt says he forgot about his bats. Whose are they? They're ours. Huh? They're ours. Oh, well, maybe you guys should put them away instead of leaving them out in the construction field. I did touch them. I didn't touch them. We don't touch them. Me and Julie don't. Actually, Matt and Lynn were... It's Matt's fault. Yeah. Because me and Juju don't touch them. We touch our... Um, they were sword fighting. Bats. They were sword fighting. Matt and Wow, Mommy? what did you do right there? Uh, don't mosquito? touch. No, it's mosquito. not Wow, it's getting dark. It wasn't oh, my there mosquito. we are. It wasn't was it? a mosquito. It was, um, I. What's that? All right. Old neighbor chat. It is getting, well, I don't know why it's dark. Maybe because I'm. I don't even know how many bugs I just There we go. Anyway, all right. Look at it. The car went the wrong way. Go figure. Now, all right. What? They do something on somebody's driveway and no one else has. Oh, a newspaper. This late at night though? Kind of weird. Um, it was yellow, not orange. Dad, you should go over the jump. No, Dad shouldn't go over the jump. What are you doing? I'm coming to tell you something. What is it? It's time to go take your toys in. <laughs> yep. Jules! <laughs> Alright. Toys. Not I mean, ramps, put them away. And don't ruin the plum tree. Sarah's plum tree has lots of little... Wow. So, if you can see these little ones, and then these, and these. Lots of plums. And there's a somebody I work with who actually takes these and turns them into jam. But yes, there's a little plum tree. Produces lots of plums. So anyway, that's our update. Computer's back. And uh, if we don't get to you before then, happy Father's Day to everyone. And we will see you again after, I don't know when, but soon. So. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below with that notification bell so you don't get any. So you can get in all of our new videos. Thanks again. Bye.